In our previous lesson on Ohm's Law, we discussed a simple circuit, a battery and a pair of bulbs. Our battery here is 6 volts. To keep the number simple, our bulbs have resistances of 2 ohms and 4 ohms. Note the bulb with a higher resistance is brighter. We'll see that's because there's more voltage across it compared with a lower resistance bulb. So let's discuss the voltages across each of these bulbs. Voltage drop. The 6 volts provided by the battery is across two bulbs. And with their combined resistance of 6 ohms, Ohm's law tells us that the current in this circuit is 1 amp. And that 1 amp flows through each bulb. So how much voltage is impressed across each bulb? If they both had the same resistance, it would be half. 3 volts across one, 3 volts across the other, totaling the 6 volts supplied by the battery. But our bulbs are of different resistances. To find the amount of voltage impressed across each of them, we can re-express Ohm's law as V equals IR. And for the 2 ohm bulb, 1 amp times 2 ohms equals 2 volts. So 2 volts are impressed across the 2 ohm bulb. By the same reasoning, for the 4 ohm bulb, 1 amp times 4 ohms equals 4 volts. And sure enough, 2 volts plus 4 volts equals the 6 volts supplied by the battery. So we say there's a voltage drop of 2 volts across one bulb and 4 volts across the other. Now, suppose we keep the same circuit, but replace the 6-volt battery with a 12-volter. For twice the voltage for the same resistance, can you see that the current in the circuit is now twice? 2 amps? Let's see how the 2 amps affects the voltage drop across the 2-ohm bulb. Not surprisingly, it's double, 4 volts. It follows that the voltage drop across the 4-ohm bulb is also doubled to 8 volts. And sure enough, 4 volts plus 8 volts equals the 12 volts supplied by the battery. So we say there's a voltage drop of 4 volts across one bulb and 8 volts across the other. Let's apply this to this 3 bulb series circuit where all bulbs are identical. They all have the same resistance. And the battery is 6 volts. So what's the voltage drop across all three bulbs? Turns out it's zero, because there's no current in the bulbs. We've got to close the switch. Ah, now the bulbs light up with equal brightness, because they're all the same resistance and carry the same current. So now we see the voltage drop across the three is the full six volts. What about the voltage drop across this first bulb? We see it's two volts. And what's the voltage drop across these two bulbs? It's 4 volts. And if you placed a voltmeter across them, the reading would be 4 volts. What's the voltage drop across these two points? It's 0, but the resistance between the points is practically 0, enormously small compared with the resistance of the bulb filaments. And what's the voltage drop across these two points? Also 0. In circuits, we assume zero resistance for the wires that connect the bulbs. Got all this? Yum! Now let's return to our two-bulb circuit. Our six-volt battery supplies current to the pair of bulbs. Energy in the current comes from the battery. If these bulbs glow continuously, sooner or later the battery will expend its energy and the party is over. We're left with a dead battery. Now here is an interesting question. If we add a lot more bulbs in series, will the battery life be longer or shorter? To answer this question, we see that adding bulbs causes the circuit resistance to go up. That means the current in the circuit goes down. Less current supplied by the same 6 volts means lower power consumption. And lower power consumption means the battery can last for a longer time. We'll see that bulbs continually added to a parallel circuit has the opposite effect. More on that later. For now, I have a question for you. 
In a multi-bulb series circuit, how would the sum of individual voltage drops compared with a voltage 6 volts of the battery? Until next time, good energy.